My name is Suzanne Day, or Anne Wigglebottom is my pen name, and I write children's books and poetry and affirmations. And I also um, give out free information at the stalls. And today I've got a list of books that are really good for victims of abuse, both for male and female, that they can get out of the library or order online. And um, they can read so that they can educate themselves about domestic violence. So, because um, education is edu educating yourself about domestic violence and abuse is one of the best ways to help yourself. So, um, so that you can do better in your life. Because education is key, and the more that you know, the better you'll be able to do, and to be able to have a happier life. So the books that I recommend you read for self-improvement, um, these are all books that I've personally read and can recommend for victims of domestic violence and abuse or trauma. Okay, so the first one is the Self-Esteem Workbook and it's just a little book that you do. It's done by a psychologist. You do it at home, you do the exercises and it's really great. And it's by Glenn R. and I'll spell the surname S C H I R A L D I. The next one is Measuring Up, and that's by Dr. Kevin Lehman. The next one is Where to Draw the Line How to Set Healthy Boundaries Every Day. That's by Anne Catherine. The next one that's really good is Trauma and Recovery by Judith Her Herman. Um, Love Yourself, Heal Your Life workbook and, and an actual book. And that's by Louise Hay. That's really great. I've done that twice. Um, the Body Keeps the Score. That talks all about PTSD, what happens to the brain. It's really good. That's by Basil Vender Kolf, if that's about right. K-O-L-K. Next one that's really good is Living with a Psychopath by Tim Merchant. Another one that's really good for, for uh, sexual abuse victims is Courage to Heal by Ellen and Laura Davis and that's a workbook and a, work, and a book that you buy. The Complex PTSD Workbook and that's by Ariel Swartz. Another one is The Battered Woman Syndrome and that's by Le Liana a walker the next one is the blame changer and understanding domestic violence and that's by carmel o'brien the next one is family violence and criminal justice uh, brian r randy and r gurney g-a-i-n-e-y and this, and next, I'm going to give you a list of books that are really good for men. They're purposely targeted at helping men who have been abused or are in domestic violence. Okay, so Breaking the Silence, a practical guide for male domestic abuse victims, and that's by Dr. Elizabeth Sell. The Abuse of Men, Trauma Begets Trauma. And that's by Barbara Joe Brothers. The next one is Abused Men, The Hidden Side of Domestic Violence by Philip W. Cook. Another one is The Abusive Personality, Ab Violence and Control in Intimate Relationships, Donald G. Dutton. Domestic Violence, The 12 Things You Aren't Supposed to Know, Thomas B. James. Rethinking Domestic Violence, Donald G. Dutton. Venus, The Dark Side, Roy Shepard and Mary T. Cleary. Another one is Truth and Prejudice, A Man's Experience of Domestic Violence, Edith Crawford. Women Who Perpetrate relationship violence, moving beyond political correctness, Fred Buttrell and Michelle Mahur, Carney. Older Man's Business, Valuing Relationships, Living with Change, Jack Zen. 
Zinn, that's Z-I-N-N. -N. Victims No Longer, the classic guide for men recovering from sexual abuse, Mike Liu. Broken Boys, Mending Men, Recovery from Childhood Sexual Abuse, Stephen D. Grubman, Black. Abused Boys, The Neglected Victims of Sexual Abuse, Mick Hunter. Wounded Boys, Horotic, Horotic Men, A Man's Guide to Recovering from Child Abuse, Daniel J. Sotin, S-O-N-K-I-N, that's spelled. And the last one is The Invisible Wound, A New Approach to Healing Childhood Sexual Abuse. Wayne Kitzberg, K-R-I-T-S-B-R-G. Okay, so all these books um, are available on the Domestic Violence Charity website. There's a list of them. Um, so if you want more information, um, and if you like this video, you can push the like button and you can also subscribe to our page. Okay, thank you.